Stay tuned with me, my friends. Night of the Firebomb. Revisited. How the thing starts right here at this house. Who was behind it? The real truth finally revealed. How a friend, Lisa Phillips, turned out to be the instigator that almost cost me my life and almost cost me everything. How it, uh, uh, what I call a deadly friend. Night of the Firebomb. The truth finally revealed. Who was really behind the fire? June the 29th last year. Who was the one that started it? Who was the one that began and planned the whole thing? The truth might shock you. It did me. And it all starts right here in this house down the street from me. The mo most person I would never expect. Night of the firebomb. Truth finally revealed. The truth right here. How this started right here. Night of the firebomb. And who's the real instigator of it? The story revisited. Things that was left out. The investigation into a nightmare. That a friend, I thought was a friend, turned out to be the most deadly friend that I ever would have had. And it all, once again, starts right here. What really happened that night? I'm about to reveal to you. Who was behind the planning why of the fire and why? A deadly friend, Lisa Phillips, the Lisa Phillips story. The one that got left out. Who was really behind the fire? Why? And how did I find out that this person was the one that did this? The truth might surprise you. Here we are, though, sharing it next week. One year anniversary of the June 29th fire will be the 29th. But it all starts right here. Stay tuned for this amazing story. Because I'll tell you something. It's going to shock the hell out of you. It will shock you. A once be true supposed friend turns into a deadly, and I mean a deadly friend. How she planned it, how, why, and who was all behind it. Because there's way more people behind it than you think there was. And it starts all right here. Thank you for tuning and join in. Night of the Firebomb. Revisited. Thank you. Good night. Hello each and every one of you out there. It is almost a year now since the fire. June the 29th, 2016. And the videos you're going to see on the June the 29th, the anniversary of the fire, is my findings from a year ago. I mean from uh, over the year. And it's quite incredible. It's called the Lisa Phillips story. The truth behind the fire. The truth behind the disaster a year ago. And uh, there's already a movie out about the fire itself. As to what happened in the fire. But my findings since that date. Leads to a conspiracy beyond what you're even going to imagine. How Lisa Phillips. The guy in the blue truck. And all of the rest of them got together and uh, literally planned my death, planned to burn me down. The Lisa Phillips story premieres June the 29th, June the 30th, night of the fire. When I, my house was bombed and it's going <coughs> to include actual, sorry, actual footage from that night. Act, the actual um, thing with the truck. The actual, um, all of it. Who was behind it? The Lisa Phillips story. A would-be fake friend that turned out to be a disaster. So please stay tuned. Here's a little portion of the upcoming video that's coming June the 29th. Night of the Firebomb. Revisited. What really happened? And it is going to surprise you. Stay tuned. And watch this video, please. As I'm going to give you a little taste on what's going to happen. And what you're going to see that night. And the story that's going to be behind it is going to shock you. Thank you for joining me. Stay tuned. Watch this video. 
We all know what happened June the 29th a year ago. June the 29th at 9.05 p.m. Night of the fire. I have new evidence now proving who was the one who instigated the fire a year ago. June the 29th. Who the lady was that was behind behind the uh, planning of the fire. This was a year ago. June the 29th. Actually June the 30th. The night of the fire. June the 29th. I have startling new evidence to prove exactly what happened that night. We all knew who this is. And we all knew this is. Her name is Lisa Phillips. And she is the one who planned the fire. That's her face right there. And we all know this night. We remember this night. Because I brought a major uh, movie out. Night of the Fire Bomb. Lisa Phillips. Come from this house right here. The one that I thought was the best friend there ever was. The one I helped. The one I cared about. The one that conned me. It almost cost me my life. Right here, across the street from the post office. This is where she was. She's gone now. Uh, but somehow I don't think she's forgotten. Lisa Phillips. The one that actually wanted me out of existence. Enough to befriend me with a fake friendship that I believed. I believed. This is her house right there. That's her house where she lived. I believed all of this, Baloney, believe it or not. And man, was I a fool. I'll never believe anybody ever again. Ever again. Because this was my mistake, believing in somebody. And she convinced me, oh my God, she convinced me of something that I'll never believe again. But trust me, I will never ever believe that again. Because that's <laughs> right here. This is the place right there. Lisa Phillips. Night of the Firebomb. 2016 explained. I still no never understand her reason for it. I'll never understand her. I'll never understand why they wanted to get rid of me. If you know what I mean. I just, I'm sorry. I don't understand. I do not understand any of this. I only know what I know, what I investigated, and what I investigated so far was Lisa Phillips downtown here was the one that planned the fire for me to get bombed out of this house, for me to die, for me to quit the death of life. I don't know what the reason was, but like I said, it was all planned by her. Beautiful, wonderful friend. huh? <laughs> Sounds like something out of somebody's nightmares. But, you know, anyway, that's my investigation. 2016 Night of the Fire Bomb. It was set where, uh, it was set up where I couldn't call 911. Somebody else did that. And, uh, she's the one that was uh, planned it. Both of the people in town that had the yard sales. The one guy across the street, which is gone now. And she, which is also gone now. But somehow I think she's out there someplace trying to get me. Because, you know what, I'll never be able to understand the ending of that. Because, man, the way that that thing ended was something out of a, somebody's nightmares. The things that she said to me and accused me of is... I ain't going to go into it. The only thing I'm going to go into was that who was responsible. I mean, I should have known this, you know what I mean? I should have I should have listened to my higher reasoning rather than listen to this lady right here who almost cost me my life. Anyway, that's my investigation night of the fire. You're looking at the one responsible for planning that right here. And the why I'll never I'll never understand it. They just wanted to get rid of me. Thank you for joining me, and thank you for listening. I'm always listening, because I'm always looking out for stuff like this. Thanks once again, Lisa Phillips. Thank you.
for wising me up to never believe in another friend because I never will. Thank you for bringing me and snapping me out of my fantasy land here because I know there's nobody out there. I know they're all out to get me. I know you people now. I know you, Lisa. I know the way you operate. I know what you planned. I know what you did. And you want to know something? So does God. The one you keep claiming that you believe in is going to come for you someday. You're going to have to answer for all of that. It ain't going to be me. It's going to be you. Thank you. Good night. to nobody leave me alone okay. leave me alone I have done nothing to nobody no, nothing to nobody uh, I'm gonna call the police I haven't done anything to anybody that's fine go ahead please call him out here cuz I've done nothing to nobody 
I've done nothing to nobody. I'm tired of people bothering me. I've done nothing to nobody. Go ahead, call them. Go ahead, get them. I'll help you to it. I've done nothing to nobody. Go ahead. I've done nothing to nobody. I need the police out here right away. I'm being harassed by somebody. It's on East Pinkneyville Street right here. I'm being harassed by somebody. 300 East Pinkneyville Street. No, I don't. I'm right across from 300 East Pinkneyville Street. I've done nothing to nobody. This guy's harassing me. Send him out here. It's an emergency. It's an emergency. This guy is uh, accusing me of taking something from this place down there. I've done nothing to him. He's harassing me. That's right. They're sitting in the truck, sitting here and said, I am accusing me of stuff. I haven't done anything to nobody. Please come out here before this guy comes and kills me. I need the police out here. I need some help. I've done nothing. I'm going to this jail down here about it, nobody. I'm talking to you. I can't kind of got this guy coming out. He's dirty, backing up this truck. Help me, please. Susan Stone. Yeah, he's getting out of his truck. I'm very scared. I've done nothing to nobody. Stay away from me. No, I'm not. That son of a get a hold of the police. I need some help. I didn't excuse him. He's stealing from that. I've done that. Nobody. I got the police coming. Do you want me to just drive to your house? And we'll no, wait I want you to sit here. We need. I get to get the police. I'll pull up right here and we'll talk to the okay. police here. Hello. I got it all on video. I'm not. I just drove past and I saw her yelling for help and she was standing in a field and there are two gentlemen in a turquoise like teal colored truck and they both got out of the truck and were coming. I've done nothing to nobody. And I let her get into my car and I drove across the highway until someone can come. You need to go back over there where that sale is. We'll just wait here till the police come. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm not done not to nobody. Okay, they asked for you to stop yelling so he can hear, okay? Okay. You need to go back over there where that sale is. Let's wait till the police are here before we go over there that way. I haven't done anything to anybody. Please, they're on the way, but he needs you to stop yelling. He can't hear me. Okay. I've done nothing to nobody. The police are pulling up right now. Where? Where are they pulling? I am in a Chevy Mountain. I need your help. I haven't done nothing to nobody. Yes. I've done nothing to nobody. Will you take me back over there, please? Take me back over there, okay. please. I don't know nobody. I'm just walking down there looking at that cell. I'm done to nobody. Okay. Nothing to nobody I've done. I need your help. Okay. I'm gonna pull up over there. Okay, you can get out and I'll pull it right over. 
I'm walking down the street to go to the post office, I go by this sale, these guys come after me. And it happened yesterday too. I've done nothing to nobody. Okay, come here and talk to me. I've done nothing to anybody. What's your first name? Susan Stone. Tell your first name. S-U-S-A-N. I didn't do nothing to nobody. Here, you want to check me I'm, here? I'm right here. There's no need there. to tell. I haven't done nothing to nobody. What's your middle initial? Susan L. Stone. What's your birthday? June of 19, 1962. I've done nothing to nobody at all. This woman has this. She's seen the whole thing. I've done nothing. 1962? Yes. Here's Where my purse. You, you can at? check it out if you want to. Where do you live at? Right there. What's the house number? 300 East Pitney Bill Street. I've done nothing to nobody at all. Nothing. Good telephone number for you. 6184 to 971 971 I've done nothing to nobody. I went out, walked around that sale, and I came out. That's it. Nothing to nobody. Here's my purse. You can check it. You can check me. You can, t you can slip me. I don't care. I don't, I don't know. Done nothing to nobody. When I turned around the corner, she was in the middle of the... Yeah, I'm trying to get away from them. And they were stopped, like, coming to <laughs> So I stopped to kind of see if there was anything I could do. And she got in my car and we drove across the street and told her about it. Later. Done nothing. They did this yesterday. They tried to run me over yesterday. I did see her walking yesterday. And she was they came after me yesterday and she came in my freaking yard over there. Yesterday I saw her. She was afraid yesterday. I don't... I, she had a... You had a piece of wood yesterday? Yes, I did. And she ran. She was so, running. So what happened yesterday? I didn't see I her walked to the post office. These guys come over and threaten me with death. I talked to her. I talked to you. The same, okay. About the same time yesterday I came home. And when I turned down the street, she was running. I didn't see their vehicle. She had a piece of wood in her hand. Okay. What's your first name? Amber. Your initial? M. Last name? Trail. And your birthday? 9779. 've done nothing to nobody I'm walking here yesterday threatening to kill me in death and everything else I don't have my car it's got breath I was so scared I called Bianca and asked to call, call the police on me for me same people right here when I saw her yesterday she ran up into the over where the sale is across the street mm -hmm. and she had a piece of wood in her hand but I like I said I didn't I appreciate if you stay with me, please. She's, she's going to leave. I say, I'm going to go talk to them. What right? do you want me to do? Stay here for a second while I go talk to them.
Hey. I don't know what's going on here, but I need some help from somebody. I haven't done anything to anybody. I walked up and down this road. You said you seen me. Yeah. I never done nothing to nobody. You want me to go up there and? I don't know what to do. They kill myself. That's what they all want. I'm done nothing to nobody. I walk up and down. That's it. I ain't got no car. I ain't got no way to get there. I am done nothing to nobody. Nothing to nobody. How did you record that on tape? I ain't got nothing what to do. I don't know. Let me go see what he said. I haven't done anything to anybody. You were down at the business? Yeah, looking around. Here, you want to look? No, I don't want to. Here, be my guest. You can search me. You can do whatever you want. I haven't done nothing to nobody. There's an ass in me. They're a business owner. I haven't done anything to anybody. There's my purse. You can look at it. You can look at whatever you want to. The reason they were asking you is they thought they possibly might have taken something from their business. And no. So they were asking to make sure that you had taken nothing. You can look. There's nothing in there. Here, search me. I haven't taken nothing. They're just harassing me. They did it yesterday. And she's seen it. Say so they've got no problem with you coming to their business or not, but I say they wanted to make sure that you hadn't stolen it. No, I don't do that. But I haven't done anything. They, stopped her they did yesterday the same her. thing. When I pulled up, that was scary. If I would have been her, I would have been scared too. They pulled up yesterday. They threatened to kill me and like, death and everything else. Like, he was, they were still driving the truck when I came and she was running up in the grass and they just drove over. They just That's right. Over to the side. They were up over there with the truck. And I got it on here. She right here. Show me. I mean, it was, it was kind of, that's why I stopped. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't done anything. They did the same thing to me yesterday. Show me the video of it. It was, it was kind of scary. Was it, please? Everything you see. Okay. <laughs> Sick in his stomach. Is that the ambulance going to okay. check me? Everything is out, Susan. Yes. So, I mean, you go back in, we got all the smoke out, but it's still going to smell smoky. I know. I need the ambulance to check me out or something. Go Are they going to come check me? Yeah. What's going to be done about Are they going to take that for evidence? Or? Uh. Here, can you hold the this? The fire marshal's going to come and he'll... I mean, this he'll burns like hell, everything. this finger does. Yeah. yeah I'm grabbing live yeah, flames. They'll be here. I'm grabbing they'll live flames. They'll be here. I don't, I don't understand it. I'm scared to be in there now. I'm really scared to death now. I know. Somebody needs to get a hold of my caseworker or something. When the ambulance people get here, I'll talk to them, okay? Yes, because I'm, I'm really... Oh, God, I need some help. Hey, Ron. There ain't no hot spots in the house. Right, but... Everything's cool down. I don't get this. I don't understand it. Somebody, please... I know, I somebody know. needs to go get that son of a bitch and put him in jail. I know, I know. And lock him up forever. But everything is cooled down and... There's the gas can right there. Yeah, that we see that. I'm sure he's got the fire marshal on the way, so... Yes. But everything in the trailer. Stay. She can't hardly stay in there. I got an anxiety disorder. I can't. They tried to burn me up alive in there. Well, that's that's murder. Is under control. I know. Everything's but I'm not. Everything's safe, so. What if they come and do? Why? I don't know. Why? Tell me why. Yeah. Why? Ignorance. That's all it is. Afraid of what they don't know. I'll tell you something. I need a fire extinguisher. I need to keep one from now on. Do you have one? I don't have one. I need one. Yeah. Because I'm we'll sitting there trying to fill up buckets of water. If I'd had one, I could have stopped it. Yeah. You need to, we need to go get one. 
You know where to buy one? Where can I get a fire extinguisher? We'll get one at Walmart tomorrow. Do you know? Yeah, you can get one anywhere. Walmart's yeah. got yeah. We'll pick up one at Walmart. Well, they put that gasoline. They threw gasoline at me. That guy down there. Huh? The guy I told you. That guy down there did it. The one I told you. Blue truck? Who is that? I don't know. I don't know his name, but he's down there. He's got the blue truck. I got him on here. He's had that truck down there that had a trailer hooked up with furniture on it. I'm scared. I don't know what to do now. I'm really scared. What do I do? When the ambulance gets here, we're going to talk to the ambulance people and have them get a hold of your caseworker. Yeah, have them get a hold of my caseworker. The number's in there. That's what she's supposed to be for. Is there any damage under there or in there or anything? Not on the inside. <laughs> you know my phone burned up too. Oh, it did? Yeah. I got blood burns all over my fingers. Put to be burned. You know, I'm, I ain't going to be able to sleep in that house tonight. I'm scared to death. I don't mean about the flames. I'm scared they're going to blow me up. I know. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Yeah. Show Stanley that, that video.